What's good, horror fam? It's your horror host, Sir Sturdy, and the homie, McManhattan, over from the Scene Snobs. And we're here today to let you guys know how much fun we had on this episode that you're about to watch. But we just have to let you know how much fun we had on the episode and the watch party of Rotor, which came out in 1987. And all I'm going to say about this, without giving anything away, because there's spoilers in the episode, don't judge a book by don't judge a movie by its cover. Do not judge a movie by its cover. This is a perfect example of that. Not going to spoil why. Again, watch the episode. But this movie right here and Watch Party, I have actually, this is another reason why I wanted to have you on here for this, Mick, with me, is because <laughs> I got to thank you for introducing me to this movie. This was a fun, fun time. I love it. I love this movie so much. It's it's a train wreck of epic proportions where the Terminator in this movie looks just like a stepdad cop who... <laughs> is or no no i'm sorry the divorced dad who, who's chasing down his stepdad <laughs> the yeah. stepdad of his kids that's what this movie feels like from yeah. beginning to end nothing makes sense and this was so much fun to watch again mm-hmm. for sturdo vision man thank you oh yes which we did do a little watch party there was a hey i believe there was a few of us for it this oh, is this God. is definitely watch party worthy I would have probably laughed at this movie watching it alone, but this is definitely like watch with your friends worthy. As a matter of fact, I highly, highly recommend to watch with your friends because you'll have a good time. This is one of those ones where you can kind of crack jokes through and bullshit through. And uh, what's that? Mystery Science Theater 3000? Yeah, you absolutely. Because you don't have to take this one seriously because the filmmakers didn't take this one seriously. No. It is, it is a joyous wonder of, of absurdity and and... Mm-hmm. stupidity that i just love that's that level it oh, is Th- this is the definition of so bad it's good and also fun like this yeah. this just works and it, it it works for those who would watch this type of movie though like it's not going to work if you're going here to watch like a cinematic masterpiece <laughs> you're going to be pissed <laughs> yo i i would love to prank somebody <laughs> with movies like this though that we have fun with like this one and one we're going to talk about another time but uh <laughs> Because this right here, if they went into this and looked at this cover and took this movie serious, <laughs> they were just like, I can just yell, fuck you, Sir Sturdy. <laughs> oh, my God. If, if you look at this cover, it looks like, <laughs> it's amazing. It looks like a legit film. Like, that, you know, you're going to get a really cool cyborg type looking thing here. Mm-hmm. That is not what you get with this <laughs> You get it is a total bait and switch <laughs> yes but it is worth it and honestly i like it better for the bait and switch i feel like it makes it better because if it was the real way the movie may have sucked to where you didn't <laughs> even like it think about it, it a little spoiler if you, there's a road tour that is introduced later in the movie 2.0 yes and when you see that road tour and i want to give away who it is but when you see that road tour it's like they never tell you it's a road tour till the end. They never <laughs> say it. They, they just, don't. But it feels like it is because <laughs> of the wooden acting. <laughs> and it's, it's amazing. It's, it's 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 one of it's one of those again. I will also say for those of you who partake in the uh, legal. Oh my god! Twenty-one and up, legal. If it's legal in your state. Can you do it? Yes. College. Yes. And I, I say that over drinking for these type of movies because drinking, like when I drink, I'm not gonna say anything fine. I when I did drink, I'm not gonna say anything fine things funny. That's what I was trying to say. Wow. But <laughs> high, completely different. And you're more focused, you're more focused, you're more locked in and kind of just like chilling and watching, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're drunk, it's you're, it's worth it. If you're into sh- I don't want to curse, but like schlocky, crazy, terrible, fun, campy movies. You'll this like is it. right up your alley. If you watch Sturdovision, if you are physically watching Sturdovision right yes. now, this is definitely the movie for you. <laughs> Why would you be Actually, watching anything else? Right here. Horrible. The, those of you who have never watched Sturdovision, <laughs> these are the ones who I want to talk to more yeah. for, my, for the, the, the horror research 30 fans out there. Which I, I got to come up with a nickname. We'll, we'll think of that. We'll work on that because 2024, we'll work on that. But anyway, you know, the, the Thursday show, the eight o'clock show, 
Uh, now you guys know throughout the years we watched some wild shit. You guys lived through. Check this one out because this is going to be dropping Thursday for you guys to see. And you guys need to check this out. You're going to have a great time. And come over on the Serto Vision. Hop on over there if you're not over there yet. Same channel, all that good stuff. And have a great time. Have some good fucking laughs. Join some of the watch parties when we do those because it's going to be ridiculous. And it's and I'm going to tell you this. Those watch parties are going to get dark, too, because there's going to be some movies that are going to be real fucked up. <laughs> those are going to be played strictly on Sturdo Vision, but all like the more fun horror stuff and funny laughy over on the scene snobs <laughs> Discord channel. So, oh my God. Yeah. You know, yeah. That, it's, but dude, I'm going to tell you right now this is Sturdo Vision movie. Remind me, I have one that I want to do when you get back, and it's perfect Ooh. for getting into summer. And I will be on it with you. I'll do that one with you. Oh, man, it's recorded. It is recorded. Okay. Recorded. Yes, yes. But this is okay. the movie we have to do, and we need to do a watch party before it. I'm in. I'm in. Hard ticket to Hawaii. Hard ticket to Hawaii? Yes. I don't even know what it's about, but I'll say yes. Not only will I say yes, if we can swing it, let's do it the following weekend that I get home. So we can do it. We can do it whenever. I, I don't care, but make sure that's signed in. And I'll tell you what, I'll be on for a twofer if you do hard ticket to OI one week and then next week you follow it up with Samurai Cop. And it's worth it every in that, in that order. You can mix them up however you want, but you'll thank me once you watch both. Okay. We'll talk. <laughs> we'll talk. But that does sound fun. That does and sound they both fun. fit within what Sturdivision is. The the bylaws of Sturdivision. I'm I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> well, you know what else sounds fun, people? I'm going to let Mick Manhattan take this one over. Let them know they can find you, my friend. Just go check out the Scene Snobs. We appreciate you. I'm usually hanging out with Sturdy. So if you go check us out on the Scene Snobs, you can type that in wherever and you'll find us. Come hang out with us. Join the Snob Nation. But go hang out with this dude <laughs> because he's the man, and I love hanging out with him too. He's a great show, so keep watching. Now, listen, guys. It's hot. It's hot out now. It's you know, it's about 90 degrees, and you should be hydrated. What better way to hydrate yourself than with this beautiful 16-ounce pint glass right here? Yeah. It's a scary good time. It's a scary good time for a frosty beverage. And Boom, and right there. Sir Sturdy in your life. Yes. yes, you need some Sturdy in your life. Pop, you do. Pop, a, pop a nice beer in there, take a sip, mm -hmm. watch some Sir Sturdy, then watch the yeah. movie. Boom. Boom. Or for those of you who partake in the THC, you can get yourself a nice little THC beverage, fill it on up, put some ice in there, smoke something, drink something, have a good time, and you'll definitely be ready for Sturdy Vision. I can promise that. That's the perfect pint glass for a nice Arnold Palmer and Boom. watching Sir Sturdy in the movie. Do it. And then maybe a little, maybe a little, a little legal substances in your state yes yes and then you know why not get a nice shirt again it's hot you want to wear a bright shirt if you're someone like me you like to stand out too get a nice yellow shirt Woo! keep the sun off you because you know it reflects more on you know it absorbs on this but it'll reflect on that you'll be shining you'll be cool with your shirt with your glass just saying I'm just saying yeah but, uh, I love it. So beautiful. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. And this man right here is who designed all this, which I greatly appreciate those logos and all that. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. See that? It's an awesome person right there. Help your friend succeed if you can. Oh, shit. This intro is going long. Fuck it. I don't care. Listen. <laughs> link is in the description. Horror Research 30 everywhere. Please give me a follow, like, share, subscribe. One more thing that's super, super, super important. And Mick, can you just do this? Just be, say this one just because you know the whole charity event and all that better than I do. Mm -hmm. but, boom. Charity. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, guys, we did a read. You can go watch it. It's up on the Scene Snobs YouTube channel. I think it's Sturdy uh, Broadcast as well. So you can check it out on our channels for sure. We had a really fun time doing it. It was really just all around. Like we had a, like a good spirits and good time. But we are collecting for Haunters Against Tate. 
That's right. It is a great organization, LGB, LGBTQIA plus uh, community um, that is out there to help build awareness, especially for the younger members of the community. So guys, go donate today. Help them out. It's going to be running all the way through the month of May. So thank you. Appreciate you guys. And uh, well, the episode's about to play for you. So welcome to the madness of whatever the fuck we talked about, because I do not remember. And I'm not sorry. Um, I hope you guys had a great time. <laughs> and let us know what you thought about the movie right down below in the comments let us know or head over to the discords and do that because i want to hear oh. it yes head over to the discords i'll drop a link for the discords too but uh we're out of here i'll see your nightmares and i'll see you soon peace Bye. back back again for another episode of sterile vision and tonight people oh my gosh tonight it's just another day with rotor and by the way, just another day, Queen Latifah, go check that song out. Link is in the description. Of course, check it out after the episode. But this movie right here was um, something. It was something, people. It was... Uh, <laughs> if RoboCop and Terminator had a mentally challenged kid, it would be this movie. Ooh. RoboCop and Terminator having a baby. I would just say... <laughs> This, <laughs> I like the movie. Like, I had so much fun with this movie. I had so much fun with this movie in such a weird way. And it's just about this guy fucking talking about what happened the whole fucking time. Dude. The whole time. It's it's a story. The whole thing is a recollection. Mm -hmm. It's It's great, but like... So many things didn't need to be talked about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the long drive montages. <laughs> Dale. Yes, sir, Dale. Yes, sir. Up, Welcome Dale? to uh, Sturdo Vision, episode 10, I believe. What's up, buddy? What's going on? Um, yeah, so, uh, Rodar. Uh, <laughs> this right here. Does he doesn't even show. <laughs> he doesn't even show for the first 45 minutes. It's... <laughs> I never You're get right. a middle-aged dad. <laughs> it was going Pretty through much. Crisis. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite. But again, though, I was like, I'm sitting here. I'm like, all right. So what am I getting myself into? And it's just this dude, like you're saying, telling this fucking story all this, the whole fucking time in every single detail, like everything, even the shit he wasn't there for, he was telling people <laughs> Telling this story, like telling the cop this whole time, like, yo, if I'm in this the interrogation or wherever the fuck it was, I'm leaving. <laughs> like, I'm like, all right, man. I just asked you where you were between five o'clock and seven thirty, and I didn't ask you about all this extra shit. How do we stop the robot? What the fuck happened? What what? Why I don't care dead? about you going to pick steel up. I don't care about you doing all this extra shit. I don't care about everything else. How did this end? Can we credits. So, so <laughs> no, it ends. There's a particular ending where, um, okay, we'll spoil it. Pretty much, oh, spoilers. the uh, the main character, the 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 the, uh, the scientist, rogue cop, wherever you want to call him, he walks out of the building, and he gets shot and killed by the. Um, what is he? He was a government agent he was talking to yeah. on the phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he wrote a note down prior saying, you know, if you get this, this goes to my kin, who now he's reading the letter about his grand about his I uncle know. or whatever the hell it was, about the rotor project, and maybe you can work on the next rotor project, and it shows Rotor two. We kind of figured who Which Rotor steel. two was. Steel. So so Going back a little bit, what happened to the main victim in this? The the young woman who was being terrorized. So you became the Sarah Connor of all this. <laughs> right? Uh -huh. Pretty much. How did she die? I don't think she did die. Exactly. Why was he arrested? Because in the beginning, it's, it's weird because in the beginning he got busted for uh, these people were driving. They find... A dead body, he's hovering over the dead body, showing a badge, and yeah. some redneck guy's going saying he's not a cop, 
So they arrest him. Mm -hmm. So now he's in the precinct here telling the story. The girl on the ground is the victim. There was someone different. No, it was her. Was Wearing, it her? Yeah, because it was, was her. So why? It doesn't even make sense. They didn't even finish the fucking ending. That's how bonkers this movie is. It's the same <laughs> girl at the end, and he's beat up far more than he was in the fight, like after the fight when they drove away together. Because yeah. in the end there, they blew up the robot, and she was still alive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless Rotor 2 came somehow kicked in. I don't know. <laughs> we, we don't know anything. Yeah. This whole yeah, movie was like that. It, it, it was so random, like the shit that would just happen in this movie. I'm just like, what in the fuck? The conversations, fucking um, Cold Iron going back and forth with the, what was it? He wasn't a mayor yet, right? No, he was a no. uh, like a government agent who was given the money okay. to fund the project. Him. They're going back and forth on the phone for like 20 minutes. Like, what the fuck? What? Why? We don't need all this. We do not need. But we did for the like in a weird way. It worked for this movie. And this is I'll say with this movie, too. I had a blast with it. This is the type of movie. This is the type of movie where someone's like, you know, I need the type of movie I can watch with my friends and we could just have fun and crack jokes and kind of just make up our own story for the movie. Whatever the case may be. This is perfect for that. And I love it for that. This is fun as fuck. So, okay. So I, I'm going back and looking because I need to make sure that I'm right. Right? So that is where, that's just kind of where I'm at. I'm just making sure that it's it, it's the same girl? way. It is the girl in the beginning on the side of the road. Uh, their car is nowhere. Yeah, okay. Blows up. And the reason I want to bring this up is because now we get to bring it up. And then <laughs> it's fucking it's such a trip, dude. It really is. Okay, so Rodar, the middle aged man with like th two alimonies, blows up. And then mm -hmm. it immediately, like she was fine. They were standing next to each other by their his Azuzu, as he says. And then it immediately cuts to him in the in the room talking to them. So he got arrested for murdering this woman that didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> unless it was the other shit that happened there and they were just like what's going on type of deal i i don't fucking know man I, no we know because the big redneck guy comes and goes nah he's not a cop he kill you know he killed this oh man. that's right yep where did he what happened to him he just showed up he was just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong yeah. time or whatever you want to call it at the end what? of the movie though oh no but somebody clearly blew up or the beginning of the movie. The beginning of the movie. That dude that's doing... I, All it does I, is take it. It doesn't make sense. She was fine. Yeah. She, yeah. <laughs> she lived at the end. I feel like they we forgot. I, I, I feel like what happened was they were like, all right, listen. Let's shoot the end of the movie and put that at the beginning. And then we'll have like we'll show you what happens at the end of the movie in the beginning. But they just forgot what happened at that part. Oh, yeah. they, was oh, they definitely forgot. They got to filming, made it a happy ending. Whoever wrote this forgot that they wrote that part, made it a happy ending, and then was like, you know what? Let's add tragedy for one more. So there's tragedy on both sides. And it makes no mm -hmm. fucking sense. <laughs> He just murdered a dude in plain daylight. Shot him in the back. Goodbye. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to show you something else that doesn't make sense. Give me two seconds. Well, also, Whoa. too, is when they were building the robot, supposedly, this took place in, like, days. It showed, like, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And they're, they're going, this is, they said this will take months and months and work. But also, they have the robot ready to go, like, in the next day. Yeah. <laughs> Can out of nowhere. I, oh my god, that was the that was the freaking best. But before oh, this, we even get this there, fight scene was great. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Man. Yeah. Sorry. Can I? No, no, no. Before we get there, because it's going to pertain. But can we just get to the point? The best police plan I've ever heard. <laughs> Not call the police force. You drive and drive and drive until you get to here, and you stay. With, and then I'll meet you. And then that dude goes, makes a phone call, picks a woman up. We've never heard of, have no no idea who she is, 
picks this when she mm-hmm. dressed like a raccoon or a skunk or something with her hair. Um, I'm not even oh, exaggerating. The light, <laughs> the light in the middle. Her name is Steel. Yeah. Yeah. Houston. And she shows up. And then they come back to a hotel room and talk so she can get changed. What Made was no the sense. point of that? And then, and then no this, this woman is running for her life. And this dude is gone. He's like, I got to go do something for a few hours. <laughs> I got to go pick this chick up. I'll meet you at no, 4 p.m. He let, said that let, at let, 3 a.m. <laughs> let, let's see. Let's let's go back to this, though, because you're right about that. But the funny thing was, it wasn't even that. It was, don't go, don't stop for help. You keep driving and driving and driving. I'm going to go get help. <laughs> yeah, so they weren't, you're not in our jurisdiction. So keep driving until you find another position cops or something if not no, no, we'll no, help was, you then that was that was when she called the cops yeah when she called the cops yeah. no when cold no i'm talking about when, when um oh when not, cold, not cold whatever whatever the fuck his name is i forgot his name cold now. heart cold iron cold iron iron heart cold iron, iron. Cold iron. why don't you put on our uh our little handles here and you'd know it because <laughs> it, it won't show the bottom because the TV, the bottom of the <laughs> no. tv lit no we just need to see yours you're the one that changed it <laughs> that's true that is very true Oh, oh man, I, I don't worry about me. I'm fine. Um, Very cold. Scene, the scene stops. There you go. So, can we talk for a second about uh, was it sensor recall for a thing that he wasn't even present for? Yeah, he I had, don't get it. He could just relive memories of her doing stuff. It's oh oh, that's how he was able to tell the entirety of the story to those two cops. He has oh. sensor recall chips in his head. Oh, this is so weird. I love yeah, it. Yeah, but he wait a minute, wait a minute. He so him and the robot are connected. What the f- he tried. They pulled out like a little pen thing and he's like that was like a kill, it was a kill switch. Yeah, that was a kill switch for Rotar that he never <laughs> Rotar. He just, showed it, he just showed it to him and Rotar's like, the fuck is that? Rotar okay. pulls out his gun and puts it in his face and is like uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was right. That's right. Then he got back on the motorcycle, and the guy gets in the truck mad. Yo, by the way, Rotar and um, Cold Iron move slow as shit. They remind me of, uh, what the fuck is his name? Steven Seagal and his movies where, like, all his moves are slow as shit. They're like, like, oh, yeah, it, takes like to, it takes like 20 minutes to roundhouse someone. I'm like, yo, you could have just took two steps back and he would have missed as slow as he's going in his movie he's and getting too old for these roles and that's what this felt like but i loved it who on whose road rotar bingo card did, had um woman is gonna hold the man by the neck with her foot that was um and that after was she was taken after she was kidnapped like yes <laughs> like you can kick this guy you were the best fighter in this movie yeah. He's, and, yo, her fight. I mean, it was sloppy, but it was it was the fastest movement, and she connected. And I'm like, all right, man. It was and she was never, and she was never used again. Just the scene where she's lying in his lap, asleep. No, that was his girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, I As thought that was her. No, uh, sturdy. Pull up that picture again. Which one? Oh, okay. You know which one? The fight. You think her form was sloppy? That guy, oh my god! Oh my gosh! Fucking her form was better. Not, not her, I mean, here. as far as like, uh, as far not her form. Sorry, like as far as like the 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 action, the kicking and the punching. Not necessarily her form, but this guy right here, yo, he came out like he knew what the fuck he was doing, and he got backhanded and knocked out. <laughs> yo, he was like, "Sit down, bitch." <laughs> and then the other guy rips his shirt apart to show off his muscles. He's like, "Nah," Doosh, and just steps on him. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Yo, he backhands him and then walks across his chest. Mad disrespectful. Dude, it's it's this whole movie is freaking bonkers. Yep, it is. I love it. it. Is. I love it. It is, and it just works so freaking. There's this one right here. <laughs> yeah, this dude. This guy just shows up. Yo, Yo you guys oh, remember God. the uh, the cook with the bad two buck teeth that looked definitely fake? Yep. So this was <laughs> like this. There's no way this wasn't a joke. This has to be. Like you don't put like if you're taking if you're making a movie seriously, you don't set this guy up with those faces. You don't like set the guy yeah. up with, like the fake teeth. You don't like. But then there are parts that are taken so seriously. Mm-hmm. 
So it's Bogles and like goddamn Cold Iron never goddamn smiled. No, he needed he he, he hated uh, life. Cold Iron had kidney stones. That's what he had. Ah, uh, that's he's why he's a an miserable asshole. prick. He's like they're coming. I know they're coming. And he's talking about like fucking high That's why he really talk like that. Makes sense now. Old it all adds up. It all adds up, Mick. Remember when the cop walked away from the, uh, the black cop after they talked after the thing, and he's just like, and he keeps this. talking for twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah, he started talking shit after the cop walked away. Because I'm trying to keep you alive so you don't get fucking killed, you asshole. <laughs> like, <laughs> and all the cops said was like, "Why don't you just leave the streets to us? You're not a street cop." Yeah, you're not even a cop. It's like you'd be arrested too for vigilante. <laughs> That, yo, that's actually what he did say. You're not even a, a you're not even a street cop or some shit. And then he just started. I'm like, go fucking handle the robot shit, man. You're doing everything <laughs> but that. <laughs> but he had no literally. reason to think they were robbing the place. They were th- three or four guys that got out of a car, and another dude just sitting there waiting, and mm-hmm. and like they weren't together. Now, granted, he was right, right. Oh, Which they didn't they didn't need him anyway because she would have taken care of it. <laughs> yeah. Jo- yeah, she was like damsel in distress, and then was just like, you know what? I'm tired of this bullshit. Let me kick his ass real quick. <laughs> and then remember he called him white boy and he was a white guy? Yeah. <laughs> but the, yeah, the dude with the mustache and the fake fucking gold tea part. Yep. I was like, what the fuck? That doesn't even make any sense. His <laughs> voice was like sounded like it was so, like dubbed over. Where's the it- car? Where's yeah. everybody? <laughs> oh my gosh! That the yo the sound in this movie for Coldstone just talked like he had marbles in his mouth. I keep calling him Coldstone. More than mobiles. Yeah, you were the entire time we watched that movie. You were like Coldstone over here. I just told him Cold the Iron. Game. Cold <laughs> Iron. And it's right there in my face. Cold Iron. Him and yo and uh, Rotar. He was worse. He sounded like he had like. A whole bag of marbles, dude. I'm like, you barely under- and and on top of that, like you're talking in a microphone, but the microphone's all the way down, and you're far from it. <laughs> yep. I one time got in a fight with my wife, right? Quick story. And we were in the kitchen, and she was getting a drink, and she slammed the cup down, and she threw some ice in, and she poured angrily that soda, and then even like poured, put the two liter like down, like hard, right? And it was still wasn't as angry as this guy when he was talking on the phone, pouring that Coca Cola. No, he was mad as shit. <laughs> he was so fucking. He's like, oh, "You goddamn cold iron, you son of a!" <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. It was nuts. <laughs> no, what is up with people? It's fucking hilarious. Like, no matter what age, like you yell at your children for having temper tantrums and slamming shit, but then we do it as adults. <laughs> when you're mad about it, you just slam shit all damn day. But he's angrily <laughs> pleading with them. Yeah, he is. Like, we need it now. Like, I never breathing up my... Like, he's yelling at him, but at the same time, kind of like, I need you to get this done. We've known each other a long time. And then he's the dude that shoots him in the back. Yep. Multiple times. It was the yeah. same with the, the married couple. Well, the, the, the couple that were engaged. They're, like, having a <laughs> fight in the car about her going to work and everything. And he's all going, you know, I should provide. And they're just so angry. And he's like, Fine, we'll do this. But then they're, I, they're fighting again. It's like, what the fuck's going on here? Are they angry at each other? Or... It went from like zero to six. I love that you brought that up because I, I forgot about that. But like, yeah, mm-hmm. it started like not even, it started nice, like weirdly in the 80s. It didn't seem like that would have happened. But this couple, she's saying, I want to work. And he's just like, yeah, you know, uh, I just, I think that I should be the right. Like, like, he's not being a dick, he's being misogynist, but. Mm-hmm. he's not being a dick to her and then it turns into like haywire like he kicks her out of the fucking car he's like get out of the car i don't care whatever and like the relationship's over fuck you and then he gets out to open the door for her yeah <laughs> yeah that was gentleman that part well he didn't get to open the door for her because he got shot in the biscuit because uh yeah wrote don't Rotar. play he's a terrible he's a horrible cop though that is not he was t- I'm not gonna say it, but you know where I'm going. He was treating I won't say I'll say it without saying it. I'll say it with he was treating you guys like you already know where I'm going. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't even know why you're saying that. <laughs> think yeah. about it, Sturdy. In a movie, 
where they needed clearly a final girl. And in the eighties, they were going to go with a white woman. Um, and they created a scenario where effectively, I guess <laughs> they could have that in this movie. So basically slasher format, right? But it's mm -hmm. still a cop. And what did, who did he rouse before he met them? A black man and a bunch of chairs. But black chairs. The black chairs, too. <laughs> but <laughs> none of them got killed. Nope. Yeah, fair. Well, they didn't break the law. They weren't speeding. <laughs> they weren't speed. It was exactly. Speeding. Speeding. <laughs> speeding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to say it right now. If you are. If you get pulled over for speeding and it ends with gunfire and sturdy, I realize what I'm saying here and it mm -hmm. ends with gunfire. You're probably not an effective police officer. Probably is an understatement. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> the guy even stole the bike and no one did anything about it because the bike was all blocked off and roped off. And Can we talk about him. that scene? Can we talk about that? Scene? Like that, not even talk about how slow he walks, but how much trouble as a robot, he has opening the double glass door things. Where he could, most robots just walk right through that, and the whole door just the glass crashes, the doors fall off the hinges, and then they take the motorcycle and drive out, or at least and they no drive one out cool. until no one notices. Until later on, the computer says Rotar's been active. He's like, "What? No one knows about a bike being missing. No Nothing. one knows about the destruction yeah. around the police area. Nothing." And what's Nothing. funny about that too, Matt, is so. He's already gone with the motorcycle. Then the computer's like active. The computer, because remember the two dudes are sitting in the lab waiting, mm -hmm. seeing what the fuck's going on. They leave. He's already gone on the motorcycle. Then it's like, oh, Rotar activated. I'm like, oh, this was like a half hour late. <laughs> like, that was a slow, shitty ass computer, right? Mm -hmm. Fuck. Was so slow. Dude. <laughs> he got supercharged by the guy's headset. He ran into, <laughs> in chasing her. For not even speeding, he was still he was still chasing her for being because remember he says you were an accomplice to speeding, mm -hmm. so he's not even tacking on the speeding she was doing away from him during this chase. Nope, she's just he's literally wants to murder her because the boyfriend was speeding and she was yep. in the car. She was in the car, mm -hmm. and Which like makes zero sense. Like, um, no, it, none whatsoever. I'm not driving. No, but in this pursuit. There was like 20 people they come across, and a lot of them broke laws. Mm -hmm. And he didn't, like, he killed them, but not because they broke laws. Just because they got in the way. <laughs> Just because they got in the way. Because of her selfishness and getting people hurt. <laughs> Robots chasing you. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. Let's just say this happens, right? And we're all at a diner or whatever, and you see some dude just come through the glass door. Well, it depends. If he has trouble like he did getting that motorcycle, we probably wouldn't take him that serious. No. But if you see him start throwing people around, I'm just going to, you know what, guys? I, she's running over here. Trip her, Mick. Mick, just, you're the tallest. You're like it. Just trip her. So when she falls, he can get her. We'll be fine. <laughs> well, because then he's just going to murder her and then go on to the next crime he sees. Mm -hmm. He's just going to be a machine and do it. So, like, that's why, I, I mean, I think effectively he's like, I mean, I just don't think it was smart. Like, he wasn't that far from her. He just saw her in that parking lot, like, 10 minutes earlier. And now he's on the radio with her. It's like, I'll catch up with you now. Hey, Steel, I'm going to leave a message for Steel and be like, get off the plane. Meet me here. I have to exactly. go. Through this woman. No, that's no, no. I'm going to go pick you up and do this. Make and through the whole her. fucking montage in the airport. <laughs> <laughs> it's yep. weird too when you first see her. She's like this geeky, like skunk hair girl with glasses. I'm like, who the hell's this? The next thing after in the hotel, she's this bodybuilder, buffed yeah. up superwoman. You're like, who the what the fuck happened? You know here? who would have played that <laughs> role if this movie came out in like '97, '98, Xena, No. Say it again. China Zena, warrior princess. Yes, China. Yeah. Yes, China. No, not China. I say, no, no. I say this. Here's why I say this. This oh. is this is a WWF movie right here. In my <laughs> this is a WWF slash WWE, whatever the fuck they call it I now. Type it of different. Film. No holds barred came out around the same time, and it's a better movie. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sorry, but yeah, at the but, beginning of that movie, it matches the end of that movie, whereas this one, the girl dies, and then she's clearly alive at the end. That's because it had Hulk Hogan <laughs> in it. That's Hulk Hogan. They're going to they're, they're gonna do the best they can with, with their star. But they don't do all that shit, which I did enjoy the one with Kane. That was fun. But still, it wasn't a good movie overall. It was just a fun one. Um, What was it? See No Evil? Or something yep, No Evil? See No, see no Evil. Yeah. That. I mean, I didn't like. That's not a great movie, but like, I don't think it was a it terribly terrible. made movie. Um, I think it catches a lot of shit. Like, this was a terribly made movie, but it was beautifully made because oh. it worked so well in a weird, strange way. Like, they knew exactly what the fuck they were doing, even though they didn't. <laughs> I know that makes zero sense, but it's just one of those things where they're just like, oh, listen. This okay, all right, all right, all right. I know I say this like how a lot of times you've heard me say this is you know, I mean, this movie that it feels like they just grabbed a bunch of shit and just threw it at the wall and let everything go. Mm-hmm. This they did that, but it worked in a weird fucking way. They were just like, Yo, listen, Mick, what's your idea? You were like, Robot cop, this look at the movie cover is gonna look like this, but it's gonna look kind of like me <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> like, Mick, that Holy makes no shit, sense. Right? That's perfect, that's perfect. Matt, you got any ideas? Like, yeah, he's going to have this thing to where when the robot goes somewhere after this girl he's chasing, even though he doesn't know where she is, he's just going to have, he's going to take his sunglasses off and boom, he's going to just recall where she, what just happened. He's going to be able to rewind it, fast forward it and all that shit. Bam. Cool. Sturdy. All right. Everybody in this movie just needs to be pissed off. Everybody, especially Cold Iron, especially him. He just needs to have the, the 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 mad face, all that shit. Yeah. And there you go. And just a bunch of other random. And you know, it's like yo, just throw some random shit in there. Okay. Oh, Cold yeah. Iron was a fucking robot. Like the per- the robot had more personality than Cold Iron. <laughs> Let's be real. Like the Cold that. Iron just yelled it and sneered at yeah. everyone, and wore hey, sunglasses during the scene. What if they make a sequel? Or a prequel where you find out Cold Iron's the real robot. Ah! Well, obviously oh. you weren't watching the same ending as I was, because Cold Iron's dead. Yep. That's like Robocop, man. He's gonna come back. That's no, not that's that's be a prequel, then. Could be a sequel. That's a Robo- well, it'd be a sequel, but the sequel, because he's a robot and has robotic genetics, would go to the past, man, and so, make a prequel. So God, she died, about. and they made her into Rotar, too? Or she was a Rotar too. I think she was Rotar too. Okay. I think she died. Or wait, no, I don't know. Maybe that's why she said to call me Steel, and then she was Rotar too, but she was just Steel. Yeah, and then she could have just been deactivated when he picked her up and crushed her. Yeah. And she was ripping open his chest, show, showing the the green oil or yeah, whatever the fuck it was. Because how the fuck would you know where that is? I mean, I know she probably had helped design. Well, maybe she helped design, but how how you got to be strong as fuck to do that? Like, I don't care how strong you are as a person, you're not ripping a robot chest open. You're just not doing it. Yeah, I'm trying to look up all this stuff. Uh, oh, man, I, I, could, I really wish I could have been in this movie, though, guys. I really, really do. You know? It would have just been uh, a great thing. A wonderful thing. <laughs> a wonderful thing, Mick. And, and Matt. I only really want to know, like, if she, like, because it says she died, but then show shit. They just used her to become. So why? Okay, there was a there was a rewrite. I guess okay. the screenwriter was fire. Let go. He left because the director and the main actor uh, were beefing. Did, did a lot of rewriting of the original screenplay. Yeah, we can tell. And they, yeah, they removed a bunch of stuff from it. So maybe that's why we have a different movie because. <laughs> what happened in the beginning do we have now? It's hmm, a lot well, they, different. They clearly didn't even realize they left the character. They made a character alive when they died in the beginning. <laughs> but even like Steel's character, okay, fine. Like she was killed and then turned into Rotar. Can we think about this for a second? There's a Rotar one and there's a Rotar two. Now, when you look at skunk haired Rotar <laughs> two, makes sense. She's, you know, like, muscular she can fight she's in shape she knows uh martial arts like it makes sense why did we get my dad as the cop in 
in the first rose heart why was that like was that like well the 70s wasn't that long ago <laughs> that, was, that was that was budget <laughs> get that guy with the porn star mustache we're gonna use him oh my god dude because he was he like not that he was like fat or anything or anything like that but like he was like and i'm a big dude so I, i'm saying it but like he was padded, like, whereas Rotar 2 is, like, chiseled. Yeah. You know, like, he looked like a dad who has to go pick his kids up every other weekend because on the beat, his wife just couldn't take it. He has a Don Johnson Miami Vice life without the flash. He said his wife just couldn't take it. He pays alimony, and he has to uh, coach Little League. That's That's where this Ooh. has gone. And on top of that, his little league team is losing, and the main reason is because of his child. So that just pisses him off even more because he's like such a, uh, I, I guess you would say alpha or like that macho. You know what I mean? He has like that persona, like tough, urr, all that shit, nope. grit your teeth, and fucking. Can I can I point out one more thing? Can you pull up that fight picture again? The fight. I realize, I'm being, I realize I'm being a pain in the ass on this, but I do want to. I want to ask you guys a question. Let me grab it. Let me find. Let me find. Did you send it to me or did you send it to the group? I forgot. I sent it to the group. Okay. So I let's take a let's take a quick look at this picture uh, once he pulls it up. And before you look at anybody in it, I'd really like you to look at um, the aesthetics, the background, the decor. Right. It was good, Jayhan. Um, hey, and that Nightbot thing, I still haven't figured that out. I actually forgot to look it up. Uh, but I got I got to figure out how to do that because I know you're not spamming and all that other bullshit. But it's going wonderful. I hope you're doing good too, man. Yeah, man. I'm about to pull yeah. the picture up though, Mick. Sorry. Yeah, you're good, dude. I don't care. It's your show. <laughs> um the one the, the right in the kind of like the the restaurant there. That fight. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. a bar restaurant, it looks like. Yeah. Look at the aesthetics of this place, right? Mm -hmm. And then look at Rotar, like maybe think about him from the front. He is the mm -hmm. only one that looks like he hangs out there. <laughs> That's true. everybody who was in that place that night he is the only person who's like i'm a regular here they have a drink they have a glass with my name etched on it <laughs> yo, yo, our drink he has his he's a reg, he's that regular like yo was good how's it going the, yo the, yo rotar's here yo rotar yeah shots for everybody because he's the type of dude that'll do that every once in a while and uh shit rotar's the man <laughs> Rotar, oh, Rotar has a very sad life. He does. Rotar he does. goes back to his one bedroom studio apartment, or not a one bedroom, it's a studio apartment with his chair, six and a dog. With a, no dog, dog died. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he grew the mustache in memory. <laughs> God, this movie, like this, just like you, you, it, you know, it's based on RoboCop. It's based on. This is Wish version RoboCop and Terminator. This is what like, you water off of Wish, and this is what you get. What was that? Trivia? Nice, nice. Oh. What you what what you drinking over there, Jay Han? So this is what we were supposed to get. What you sipping on, Jay? We were supposed to get this right here, and uh, <laughs> this is what we got. <laughs> Mix Uncle. Like show Rotar too real. Yeah, my, no, literally, looks like my dad. Uh, <laughs> oh, his dad, Mick's dad. Oh, that's why Mick grew out that mustache last year to honor his dad. That makes oh, sense. Yeah. I did not. <laughs> and Rotar, how dare you? <laughs> I had to. You said your dad. I see the mustache. You had the mustache. It was either him or Rotar, Mick. You choose. And then this, Rotar too. This is steel, by the way, people. This is steel. <laughs> and. This movie was just fucking. It was. It, it's something that honestly, I'm going to say you should check it out. I'm going to say you guys should check it out. If you are into those silly, weird shits, those. God damn. Those. Uh, Do you like Robocop oh, ripoffs? <laughs> Killer <laughs> and weird Android movies. But it's not. The thing with what. It, you could yeah, you could say like a, a RoboCop or even a Terminator ripoff, but it's not like in a bad way to where you're gonna hate it. You know what I mean? Where like I've seen 
I've seen some like ripoff movies and it's like just so bad. It's like, what the fuck? But this is like oh, so yeah. bad. It's entertaining. It's interesting. It makes this is going to be a movie I want to try to get people to watch a lot. Like this, this may be one of those movies I may have to stick in somewhere weird on Sturdo Vision that we watch every once in a while just because to bring up conversations and to have some uh, fun, some fun commentary with the movie. I would make yeah, this like a, a script read charity event, but there's like. 700 lines and yeah. they're all by cold iron <laughs> you, you, you know what you have to do with that is like literally count i just give different people eat every other line or something that would be hilarious like listen we're all the same person but <laughs> you go everybody you just read like four or five lines in a row so nobody's out of breath and the voices change <laughs> we're all telling this story <laughs> And for everybody that doesn't, and then for like, say if there's other people in there, for those that just want like just the side characters that are literally going to be there like for like two seconds or whatever, okay, come on for that if you want. Jesus. It'd be wild. Like, what, like why are you telling this whole fucking story just to tell us this little part? Listen, man, you had to see the movie. <laughs> like, this, it, that would be one where you, you, listen, watch this movie, people. Please watch this movie. This shit was just, it was so fucking fun. <laughs> Like, this movie made my day. I had a great time with this fucking movie. I don't know. <laughs> and it's 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 weird because it's funny, but it's not a horror. I mean, I don't yeah. think it's supposed to be a horror comedy. I really feel like this is supposed to be like a, a serious kind of robot horror sci-fi type of film. But this shit is fucking funny. And again, Sturdy is here for the funny because oh my gosh i had oh my worth God. it it's worth it mm-hmm. it's whoever's watching right now all three of you please check this movie out and whoever watches or listens Forget to this you. in the future watch this film because i'm telling you it's a turn your brain off film i'll tell you that right now if you smoke marijuana smoke if you drink have a drink but don't get drunk you get like a nice buzz and don't get way too high to where you're falling asleep get like that laughy high you know what I mean? Get so whatever. If you like this type of movie to turn your brain off or whatever, make sure you're in a good mood before you turn this movie on. I will say that. Make sure you're in a good mood just because it's a silly movie. In a weird way, it's a slow burn, but there's a lot of weird shit and ridiculous nonsense that's going on through it. But it's a slow burn because this I'll say that because of the long fucking story this dude's telling. <laughs> but there's so much in between. But it's just but like so many I, montages. <laughs> I, I, and I look at it like like I, I just picture myself like being the people listening. Like, I'm like, yo, when is he going to shut the fuck up? Hey, what is he talking about? <laughs> well, did you see at the beginning of it, they were standing over him while he was sitting on the other side. <laughs> and then when they cut back, he's standing over them and they're both in the chairs just kind of like this. Yep. And I'm just like, I'm sitting there laughing my ass off like they're tired of this story they don't want him here in fact they kick him out they're like you're done we're good yo they let yo how do you get arrested and you tell a story that's so fucking boring to these cops not to the viewers because you know what it is the cops didn't get to see what was going on but anyways it must, that story must have been so boring they're like you know what man we're gonna have to hear this guy talk because this is like back in the day and i mean the way the movie's set up it's one of those jails i'm assuming where there's like three cells and you know how they showed the, like the TV show jails where it's like three cells in it and the cops like right there. So you can't even get away from you. You got to hear these motherfuckers. Like this motherfucker is going to be talking to us or talking to himself the whole fucking night. So we more of a punch. Let's just let him go. <laughs> Yo, get out of here. And then he got shot. Like maybe they set him up. They set him up. He was set up. He was set up. That's Think horrible. about it. Think about it. And I'm not going to, you know, just like, uh, you know, People in history and real life have been set up. I don't want to mention any names. You guys can Google it. He was set up. He leaves the police station and gets popped. How do you leave the police? Let me finish. I know what you guys are saying. There's cops there. Nobody heard that gunshot. Nobody. It's not like he shot him with something with a silencer. It was like, pew, pew. He no. shot him outside of the front door. Yeah, right back into yeah, the car, right in the parking he, lot. He didn't follow the guy down an alley and shoot him no. in the back. He stood and he walked out of the front door behind him with a shotgun and fired off a few rounds in his back in the parking lot <laughs> in the broad daylight. 
Yep. I'm laughing because you said fired up a few rounds in his back. That's what I'm laughing at. It, it happened in Texas. I'm, I'm immature. I'm sorry. It happens. <laughs> this is probably a true. That's the only true part of this whole movie. Is Getting somebody in died in the making. <laughs> in Texas, somebody got shot in the back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good old... That shit. Again, though, seriously, people, this this movie is fucking. It's so fucking fun. It's such a great time. It's oh and again, I w- I would say if you can watch it amongst friends and watch it amongst those friends that have that sense of humor, of course. And again, if you guys have a drink, I'm not saying get wasted. No, of course, drink responsibly. Same thing if you smoke. Of course, twenty one and up. Be mature. Be old enough. Where it's legal and all that other good shit. I shouldn't have to say that. Fuck it, I don't have to say it. It's midnight. Fuck that. If you're underage, you shouldn't be watching this channel, this show anyway. And if your child is watching this show, you need to talk. You need to. You need to really, uh, really evaluate. I'm just but saying. They, here's the thing. They already asked all the questions. They asked him everything. He told them everything. It's not. They asked one question, and he just talked. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> they were like, "This is an unofficial." official arrests were kind of you know we're gonna interrogate mm-hmm. you so we find out what we want to know and they're pressuring him and he just taught they ask one question in the beginning and they just talks for the rest of the time and, it's, and trust me because there's lots of narration then you get to the end and they're just like you're free to go <laughs> you're yeah. done. And, he's done out, you. and the guy murders him <laughs> basically basically cover up. made no sense but again, you go to his farm. You couldn't wait for him to get home to his farm and murder him. Like that wouldn't make more sense. But yeah, I don't know. Are we doing ratings for this? Oh yeah, we are. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're gonna get to that. I'm just having such a fun fucking conversation with this movie that uh, so bad. It, but it's it's bad I love it. in a great way. It's bad in such a fun freaking way, mm-hmm. and it's bad in a way that you guys need to just check this movie out. I'm telling you. Please, like I, I think so too. This is this is uh, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm gonna figure out a way to show this movie. Maybe as often as I show Thanksgiving, that's how much I'm enjoying this movie right now. Like just because it was just so, it made no sense. And I love that it made no sense. Oh <laughs> Usually, shit like that gets people mad. Oh, is there like shit. A, oh god. Oh, <laughs> shit. and you know what? Hold no! up. Can we talk about this? So next Friday, Mick. You, this you wanted this movie on here. You I asked didn't. me to put this movie on here. Yes, you did. Oh my god! I don't know if I'm coming for you. Can't hold me to that you on air. Watch <laughs> Troll Two no. on your birthday. <laughs> That's not my. Birthday. I'm just saying. Next Friday. No, next Wednesday. Well, it's your birthday week. It counts. <laughs> Next Listen, Friday, if I tell my kids oh, we're not birthday. celebrating their birthday for a week. <laughs> I can't do it. Listen, I, I, I'm not saying no. I'm just not at birthday 42. <laughs> oh, I gotta work. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, guys. <laughs> birthday special, and Good Jeff's gonna be no here fun. for this. Jeff is gonna be here for this bad movie too. Oh, oh, I'm already gonna have to do the outcasts. Oh, all right. I'll be, but I'm gonna be outcast. I'm gonna be on the outcast with you. True. I'm not mm-hmm. watching this movie before. I will watch it during the week. I'm not watching this movie like we did this. I had fun with Rotor. I'm not going to have fun with Troll 2. <laughs> no bog is not for me right now. Oh, man. I'm, I, 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 I made a, I have a, a party for this. I have a I, as a matter of fact, you know what? On the Scene Snobs Discord next Friday, I'm not sure what time yet. I'll figure this out. It'll be after, depending on how late we go with what you call it, it'll be after that. Well, you gotta After, do it early. Uh, the outcasts, or we'll figure it out. We'll figure something out. Yeah, but don't Troll announce Troll anything until we know. Troll two will be on there. I'm no, I'm I'm showing that on Friday. I have to. Dude, I have show to. it early because the outcast is gonna go late. We're getting a lot of people. Okay. Okay. I don't want to compete with Troll Two. <laughs> That's true because it's gonna be rough. Because this is this is something. Troll Two. <laughs> this is Troll Two. Let me remove that shit. God damn no bug. <laughs> oh, I gotta see that it's not even a thing. fucking troll in it. <laughs> nope. Listen, we'll we'll get there. We'll cross that. We'll cross that bridge. Get it, trolls. When we get, you know, next week, cross that bridge next week. There's yeah, no I trolls in it. Hey They're man, goblins. Hey, cross- butt goblins. Yep. Fuck goblins. Yeah, <laughs> definitely goblins. Oh my god! In that movie, 
strikes on every level because everything you think is going to happen somehow change. like when he goes in the be- like the kid gets up and pees on the food mm-hmm. so they can't eat it then he goes up and like the dad goes up there and starts taking off his belt and he's like you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna tighten my belt that's how hungry i am <laughs> like what <laughs> i can't wait i hated that movie but i can't wait the grandfather friggin' in the mirror oh, oh man it's been a while that's a tough one to watch. Like that that's one of those movies where the only way I can watch it is if it's for for a podcast or something. Oh. I'm like, all right, I'll throw it on. I, I watched the I, documentary. The documentary was pretty cool on it. Yeah, I like that. So this right here is the laugh teaser trailer. It is of friend of the show, Peter Anthony's film. And I told him, I was like, yo, you know, I show love, I show support. I've been showing it for the past well, this I think this is week three weeks now this will be the third week in a row i'm gonna keep showing it because you guys check it out the indiegogo i'm gonna drop that in the it's in the description i'm also gonna drop that right here for you guys so if you guys want to check out the indiegogo go right on ahead and the teaser trailer is right under that but i'm gonna show the teaser trailer right now sweet yeah this looks pretty badass Oh, wow. That's cool. Is that Tommy Chong? No, that's what's his name. <laughs> it looked like Tommy Chong for a second up close. Uh, it's what's his name? Tommy Kaiser. Uh, Terry Kaiser, right? Yeah, yep. Terry Kaiser. Nice. I like Terry Kaiser. That's cool. Is oh, that sorry. Peter Anthony in the makeup? Yes, sir. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Looks like him, yeah. No, that's him. That's him. I oh, no, no, yeah. So I just, I, but, it, yeah, it looked just like him when I first saw it. So it's funny because I, <laughs> I went with Tommy Chong in the first. <laughs> so I've got some cool practical effects and everything. Yeah, I like the look. And he uses some really good use of colors, too. They shine pretty well. I do. Oh, God, it's going to get crazy. <laughs> I love it. Hmm. I like it. And I'm just going to say this, people. Um, Shout out to the indie scene. Huge shout out to the indie scene. Shout out to the homie Peter Anthony. And if you guys want your trailer showing on here, we could talk. Well, I mean, it's great that he made a silent film. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh OBS. <laughs> oh BS. Well, you guys saw the trailer. You know where to find it. We'll do it next time. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. I don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah, that's what happens on Certivision. This is how you get it when you come here. Yeah. You, you, like you know box, what I mean? you never know. <laughs> it's it's one of those things where it's like you know, if I had a squad here, like in the building, or I was like at a studio and had, you know, the the, the money and the higher production, shit like that wouldn't happen because I'd have smarter people handling that. Sure, sure. <laughs> like, listen, and in my defense, it is not 1997. What does that have to do with anything? Nothing. Just like this movie. <laughs> Back to this movie, which Nothing. had. S- Let's start. You know what? Before we talk more about this amazing, fun, wonderful film, there was even a message to this fucking movie. The message was sturdy. We're gonna try that trailer again at some point. I'll try to figure it out. But before we go into that, let's dive into ratings. That's the message. It's time to rate this movie because uh, we didn't do that yet. And um, I have a 
I'll, 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 I'll kick it off. I'll start it off. Rating, no reason. Nine. Nine? Wow. You gave this movie a fucking nine? Sturdy, you're drunk. <clears throat> He's stone <laughs> drunk and everything. <laughs> A nine? You? Like, you can like it, but really rate it. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I have my reasons. <laughs> and I rate different than everybody. What about you, Matt? I got this one to probably run a six. <laughs> but it's fun to watch and everything, but if you take the story and think of it as a, you're just going to sit and watch it, the movie makes absolutely no sense. It's That's all positive. over the place. But, not knowing. But, in an yeah. overall, it's like a <laughs> six, but... It's a fun six. It's one of those ones where you turn your brain off and just enjoy watching. You know how bad it's going to be. Mm-hmm. And it's beautiful. All right, I'm going to say this. First, I want to say this. Everyone should watch this movie. Mm-hmm. When He's you right. hear my rating, understand my rating is based on the atrocity that is this movie. Mm-hmm. But it's fun and you should watch it. You spend the first 15 minutes in Cold Iron's house. That's it. <laughs> that's basically that's the first like fifteen minutes. He gets crushed again. He gets asked one question. And he tells the tale about his house for fifteen minutes. Um, He's not lying. <laughs> like literally, drinking orange juice, taking vitamins, making coffee. Oh, I got something to say about that orange, orange juice thing. <laughs> There's so if that can give you some indication, but it's worth watching. But my rating for this, I, I don't know how you guys are going so high. I, I I'm gonna go high enough to say four. <laughs> it's, it's a four movie at best. So you yeah. said four, but it's worth the watch. Definitely worth the watch. Definitely oh, worth the watch. It's it's just a fun fucking movie, man. It's it's really a fun movie, and that's why I gave it what I gave it because I had so movies like I mean for the most, most movies that I watch, but especially movies like this on start you know start vision type of movies. I rate them on the feeling they give me in the moment and just the enjoyment I have. So it's not necessarily how good the movie is. These are more of like the fun factor of the movie. As far as like how good the movie is and the story is, I'd say like a three. But as far as like the enjoyment, and because when we watch movies, people, right? When we watch movies, what are we watching for? We watch them to be entertained. We watch them to have a good time, right? For whatever reason, whether it's to be scared, to maybe be sad, to be emotional, whatever. You want to get that, but you want to get that in a a sense, you're still having a good time or whatever emotion you want it to go for for you. Mm-hmm. And that did that for me. It did exactly that. Yeah. It wasn't a great movie. It was fun as fuck. It made me laugh a lot. And it was, one again, it's one of these films to where it's a perfect group film to where you could just talk shit through it, have a good time. And because of the story, there's nothing going on. You're not going to miss anything. So it's not like, oh, shut up in the front. It's just like, yo, that joke was fucking funny. No, let's, I, let's I, I, back back I, I was quite annoyed with you. <laughs> I was enjoying. I was enjoying the terrible dialogue in this movie. The terrible I think dialogue, you quietly, and just enjoy. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> you, <laughs> we were like, let's make jokes. And it's like, no, this is a masterpiece. <laughs> I need to hear what Gold Iron saying <laughs> at all at times. all times. Oh my god. All right, let's try this laugh thing again, guys. I think I figured it out this time, Mick. I believe you. I appreciate that. That didn't sound very confident. I got your back, even if it doesn't work. I will pretend it does. (laughs) Like that sounds. Slowly walk away. Just let me know if it if it does or not. I guess. Hang on, actually, let me. I can't remember if I did uh, share sound or not. (laughs) Listen, guys, it's midnight and I'm high. Well, it's a little after midnight. All right, let's try this again. I think I did this right. Matter of fact, let me do this too. Get that out you guys' way. So can you, awesome gentlemen, let me know if you guys can hear it or not? Uh, right now. Yes. Whoa! Do you hear it? Too loud. Too loud. Poor Matt's got air- headphones on. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but his hearing ain't there, local. He'll be okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> As a child, my mother would warn us of Baba Yoga. 
a powerful demon who would possess and devour souls of men. Rid yourself of your pain. Why burden your soul any further? Collymore is in the house tonight. Let's make some fucking noise. <sighs> He's dead! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I missed that part. Collymore. Yeah, it's a lot better with the sound on. Mm-hmm. Sooner or later, even a good man has to choose evil. <laughs> you heard it that time. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was there. I even had it extra loud for you guys. You're welcome. I did that for the people that, you know. Little older, hearing's not as good. That's why. And the why, reason why I did it the silent time the first time. Same reason for people that can't hear at all. We could just, you know, we just see it. I heard it, but you guys didn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, that's my excuse. Well, that's my reasoning for that. But um, any final thoughts on that amazing film we just watched, Rotor? Um, watch it. That's the only thing I'll say. Just watch mm -hmm. it. Watch it. And watch the riff tracks. The riff tracks is fucking hilarious. But you said that was on Prime, right? Yeah, it's playing on Prime. But at Tubi, it's just a regular movie. So if that's what you want, either way, it's funny, but it definitely enhanced the experience to watch the riff tracks and watch them professionals making fun of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to check that. I may have to check that out. I may have to check that out. The movie's funny, though, guys. And, um, Listen, I'm going to tell you guys this. Go check out you and your horror movies. Go check out the scene snobs. Go check out Popcorn and Pints. Check out the whole entire Z Network. Smart NATO. Three Geeks. Worst damn gamer. He's going to be back. He's on an awesome journey right now. You know, getting that green card, getting, you know, getting trying to get here the way he should be and all that good stuff. Trying to help him in the background. Trying to, but <laughs> you know how he is. But uh, he's smiling. But, um, yeah, so check out all those dope, dope, amazing shows. Popcorn and Pines, Horror Research 30, of course. And uh, we'll be back next Friday at midnight talking about Troll 2. And it's going to be Mixed Birthday Week, so he's fucking super excited. That's what he gets for his birthday, Troll 2, for being such a good boy in 2023, the beginning of 2024. And with that said, we're going to wrap it up unlike our parents did. Well, mine did. The kind of broke. Peace. <laughs>